Welcome back, everyone. It's a big weekend here in the capital city. Bayou Country Superfest celebrates its 10-year anniversary. It's not only a special anniversary weekend, but it's the first time the festival returns to Baton Rouge after a two-year hiatus. For this week's Uniquely Baton Rouge, I caught up with Louisiana's own Superman of Festivals, Quint Davis, about why this year's Superfest is super special. Over the past 50 years, the name Quint Davis has become synonymous with New Orleans Jazz Fest. You know, I had a tremendous opportunity starting with the Jazz Fest. The legendary festival producer stars. and director has seen Jazz Fest grow into what it is today. And over the last decade, he's added to his repertoire, now working to make Baton Rouge's Bayou Country Superfest a super festival of its own. Bayou Country Superfest is not a tour. It's not a package like, you know, Jason is out with so-and-so. <clears throat> so there's no other country festival that has this combination of acts, only in Baton Rouge. After taking a two-year hiatus away from Baton Rouge while Tiger Stadium underwent renovations, Bayou Country Superfest is back in the Red Stick this weekend, celebrating its 10-year anniversary with Florida Georgia Line, Dan and Shay, Kenny Chesney, and Jason Aldean, just a few of the names headlining this year's festival. We said there's nothing like a Saturday night in a Tiger Stadium. <clears throat> so it was really important for us after two years to come back really strong, if you will. This <clears throat> this just you know, a doubled up show is actually what we did. If you're planning on heading out to the return of Bayou Country Superfest, tickets are still available. Gates open at four o'clock on Saturday and Sunday, but the tailgating is sure to start even earlier. For Davis, it's all part of the appeal and making Bayou Country Superfest what it is. The festival will take on the personality of the people who come, and that's what makes it, and that's what makes Bayou Country Superfest a big success. Absolutely, and they're hoping that it will be a big success this weekend. The weather's going to be perfect for mm -hmm. it. It might be yes. a little hot and steamy if you're going out yes. to either tailgate or going to some of the concerts. A fun fact, Kenny Chesney was one of the first headliners 10 years ago for the first festival, and he's back this year rounding it all out. But it is exciting that the festival's back in Baton Rouge. Of course, the last mm -hmm. two years it was down in New Orleans while uh, Tiger Stadium went through some renovations. But I'm sure it's going to be an exciting time out there. Uh, a good for, lineup, yeah, too. Yeah, good, like good lineup. a good Coming back with the band. I know. I'm excited for Dan and Shay. Make sure you have those uh, yeah. Miss fans and things like that.